Hey guys, today I'm reviewing the AR Toys Leon from The Professional. Uh, this came out a few weeks ago now in uh, China, and I don't think any U.S. retailers have gotten it yet. I'd order mine from KG Hobby in Hong Kong. I paid about 200 for mine, and I, I paid like 40 for uh, EMS shipping. I always pick EMS shipping for uh, international collectibles that I buy because I'm always afraid that they're going to get lost. So if, if you're new into collecting, I highly recommend you do that just to be uh, better safe than sorry. Um, there's a lot of retailers that are, for whatever reason, really marking the price up for this figure. I've seen a lot of listings that are for about 280 sometimes more. I don't understand why that's the case with this figure because it seems like the baseline price for this is about 200 That is if you're ordering it directly from China. That may not be including shipping. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, a lot of people assumed from the very beginning when we started seeing press photos for this figure that it's just a recast of the uh, the Enter Bay figure that came out, I think, like five years ago now. That's probably the case. I always kick myself for not buying the Enter Bay figure. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. I always kick myself for never buying that figure. But there was issues with it that I just didn't want to have to deal with. With uh, It had like a really long giraffe neck, which this one has as well. Because it, it, it seems pretty evident that it's just a, a recast of the Enter Bay. And I'd rather spend like, you know, the, the cost on this than trying to hunt down an Enter Bay one. Which a lot of people seem to be asking a lot of money for. Uh, but there was other issues with the Enter Bay. Like... Um, the box, I think his gum box would fall apart, and, or at least by now. I mean, it's been a few years. I don't know if they use real leather for that or not. But another issue was that his hat was standing at the top of his head because of the dye, the dye that they used for it. I'm, I'm not really sure how that stuff works. Um, as you can see, his hat is utterly ridiculous. It is so poofy, and there's just so much excess on the top of his head. Like, I mean... I can push it down like maybe a half an inch to the top of his head. It should be nice and flush and like shaped to his head, but it's not. I don't display it on the shelf with this thing. I only put it on for you guys for the video. The glasses are actually not bad. I think, you know, the framing of it is <clears throat> too... God, I just hit the camera again. Uh, the, the frames are way too thick. Uh, it seems to be a common thing with the 1.6 glasses. They're always like a, a, a few bars too big for the face. But I mean, it, it's all right. I mean, for the for the uh, the lenses around the lenses, that seems pretty good. It just seems like this this joint in the uh, glasses in particular, I find very distracting. I was just watching clips from the the movie before I started the review, and it it, it just shows the flaws of the figure. I mean. It's a good enough figure. If you're a fan of the movie, you know, it's fine. But there is issues with it. But, but then again, it's it's based on a figure that was already made. So, I, I don't know. Um, the, the coats, you know, like whatever. It's not great. I mean, there's a lot of like loose threads hanging off of it. There's a lot that I actually had to cut when I took it out of the box. Because they were just hanging out of like the ends of his sleeves. So you got his leather vest here. This is probably just fake leather. You got to like link it together with this little uh, pin hook thing. Th this whole rig was actually hard to put on. Mainly because of his belt. Like trying to get the tongue out of this thing and then back through it. It's I don't know if you can see it but it's starting to fray here. This is like a really cheap fake leather that they used. I got all his grenades on his belt. They're all solid pieces. I mean, there's really nothing to them. There's like a little pinhole in them for the, you can see it sort of there, uh, for a pin, but doesn't have it. There's a, uh, yeah, I'm up here. there's a holster on his side here, and this, it seems specifically for one of the Berettas. I was putting one of them in there uh, just yesterday, and it, it works fine. And then you have, on the other side, his his bolt cutters. And I didn't realize it until after I put it on. 
there's a little rubber band thing, tie down thing here. You're supposed to loop it around his leg. I didn't realize that, so I'm gonna have to do that probably after the review. I'm trying to get these out without breaking them. They feel fragile. I mean, everything kind of feels fragile on it. But surprisingly enough, these actually work. But the the mouth, the, the actual bolt uh, cutting section doesn't move. So I'm just going to put that to the side. I'm afraid of messing with it. Um, I'll show you the, let me show you the back of the rig really quickly. I would take the coat off, but it's really a pain. The, the joints on this very cheap body, are, like I'm afraid I'm just going to snap something up. But I'm probably going to end up uh, replacing it anyway. I'm not really sure what body to go with. I don't really know if it's worth it to get a Hot Toys body. Just something that's not as like frail as this feels. Uh, one thing I'll, I'll make note of, and this is the first time this has ever happened to me in like... I think it's like seven or eight years of collecting. They gave them two left feet. I've never had this happen to me ever in collecting. I mean, I haven't been collecting very long, but they gave them two left feet. I contacted KG Hobby, and I, I assume that they're going to get back to me with saying they're going to replace it, but I haven't heard yet. It's just been like a day or two that they haven't gotten back to me, so I don't know. Oh, I really should show you the face. That would actually help. Like I said, the glasses, they're not bad. They, they, they're sturdy enough to stay on his face. And I don't think they're tight enough that they're actually going to damage the face. That's another thing I'm really scared about with putting glasses on figures. Let me try to get a good shot in the light here. Like I said, a lot of people assume this is, this is just a recast of the inner bay. I never saw the inner bay in person. But from... From memory of what I've seen, I guess it is the same thing. I mean, it's got the same giraffe neck. Although, it doesn't seem as pronounced as that version. That one was, it was like obnoxiously long. They added little bits of gray in his beard. There's just one spot that kind of bothers me that... I don't know that the light's picking it up. Yeah, you can see it here. That spot like kind of nags me, but it's not really worth getting a new one. It's a good sculpt, I mean, and it's not a bad paint app either. This company, I think this is like their second figure. Or, it seems like it coincided with the, the Hellboy knockoff that they did. I think it's the first two figures they've ever done. I guess I could start going over the uh, the accessories. I mean, there's really not much to talk about with articulation. It's just a knockoff. I, I think it's like a true type 18 or... 17 it's based on i think it's based on um like the original hot toys leon body that one was kind of like a it's a, it's a narrow shoulder body that, that basically but it's really cheap it feels really frail like i hardly even want to touch it none of the joints have any really like good resistance in them i'll start going over the berettas he's actually holding now this is something i was worried about when i saw the product the uh, press shots for this i thought it was just going to come with Berettas and none of the accessories on them. But both of them... Let me focus here. Oh, come on. doesn't want to work. Okay. Yeah, let me just adjust my light so you guys can see it. I thought it wasn't going to come with... Oh, God. Come on, focus. I thought it wasn't going to come with... Uh, the compensator and the suppressor, but it does. This keeps going in. Let me move him out of the way. Okay, that's better. I thought it wasn't going to come with that, but it did. And you could pop it off like that. I would move the slide back, but this one doesn't want to move. One thing to note is the magazines that go in these Berettas are really tight to get in there. I, I, I had to like literally hammer it in there. And the, both of them are not flush. The stainless one is worse. But they just pop into the barrel and run under the slide. I would show that to you if I could. Okay, there we go. It almost looks like the suppressor is a separate part, but I, I can't really tell. I'm afraid to mess with it. I don't want to snap it off. The uh, This one looks really nice. One thing, Another thing to note is the cr any chrome accessory with this figure, the paint chips incredibly easy. 
And again, that one just comes. I'm going to slide this. The slide on this one actually goes back. The other one doesn't want to do it for whatever reason. And like I said, I had a hammer in the the magazines. You can see that there's there's a small gap right at the bottom of the grip where the magazine well is. It doesn't want to go all the way up, so I'm stuck with this. I actually ordered another one that was parted out on toy anxiety, so maybe that'll look better. Um, I could start showing you the other guns. Here's the gun that Matilda uses, and the uh, the hammer actually moves, and the cylinder comes out. I'm really afraid to mess with the cylinder because it feels really fragile, but you can move it out if you want. I'm probably going to give it to the the Kumik if if you if you know about it. There's a or don't know about it. Uh, the company Kumik they actually put out their own Matilda, and I, I have that coming probably next week, so I might do a review of it. You can't have Leon without Matilda. I don't even really remember Leon having this gun in the movie, but here it is. The uh, the hammer does move very uh, subtly. It's not really moving much at all, but it does. You can take the cylinder out. I'm just afraid to mess with it. My lighting stinks. Okay, that looks a little bit better. But yeah. Then you have this one. I can't even get the magazine all the way in it. It's got this weird hooked magazine. I do remember this in the movie. There is like a few, I think, posters that show Leon holding this. And this is the last one. I It feels like the slide can move. It looks like it's definitely a separate piece. Because when I touch it, it does feel like it's moving independently from the gun. But I can't get it to come out. And the magazine's definitely removable, but I can't get it. Uh, I could show you the, the knife. And then the problem with the knife is, is once you push the blade into the handle, you cannot get it out. That's, that's a, a you're, you're hearing the tweezers. Okay, I got it. It's actually really nice, but like I said, once you push them into the handle, you're not getting it out. And I've chipped the uh, the paint job on it numerous times. I almost want to buy a new one because I'm obsessive compulsive like that. I'm sure if you're a collectible for a few years, you'd be probably the same way. And here's his cherished plant. It's a soft plastic. I mean, it feels really cheap, but I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. I'm probably going to decide whether or not to have this or the Kumik version on the shelf with uh, Matilda because she comes with one too. She also comes with a revolver. Um, what else do I got? I'll just show you the box. That's right, the gun box. This thing's really uh, fragile and flimsy. Let me back it up a little bit. Um, you can put everything that he pretty much comes with in here, all the grenades and could go in here. You could put like the the suppressor uh, compensator parts in here. You could take this out. All the four of the guns could go on this. And you could pull the, the drawers out if you want to put whatever you want in there. Like the, like the magazines if you like. And you could just close it up. Oh, there's also a uh, thing here for another gun if you want. And it just closes with, with uh, resistance. I would make him hold it, but it's pretty cheap looking. Oh, and uh, I forgot that. God, I'm, I'm an awful cameraman. I forgot he comes with a glass of milk. I think the Enerbay version um, came with a carton of milk, too. He comes with a bunch of other hands, too. So you got these. These look like they're hold, for holding the knives. Well, I'm sorry, knife. Um, I got some other assorted hands here. Just fists. I'm not really sure. What, I guess this is for holding the the gun the gun case, and then you got this one. And I have both trigger hands on on his body right now. 
Um, I guess I could show you the uh, the box and what could be done here. I would show you the inside of the. I, I mean, it just comes with foam inserts for all the parts, and everything came completely sh uh, thrown about in them. They really don't hold much of anything in them. That's just one, and here's the other one. It also came with a stand, which you could see the cutout for. But um, it's just a basic true type stand. It came with a sticker, which I I didn't even bother putting in this video because it's just so garbage that I mean it's just for the nameplate for the stand, and you can put uh, a sticker on the base of the stand and. It's just really cheaply made that I didn't even bother like keeping it on the stand. I'm not I'm not really interested in that type of stuff for like custom figures or you know and the like. I actually really like the box. I, I think that I think it might be, you know, one of my I really don't care about packaging with like any of these type of figures, like like, like six scale figures. But I really thought this was like artsy fartsy and I thought it was I don't know if that's the right word for it, but I thought it was a really good choice to have this multiple shots from the film in it. And just a really big shot of Leon in the city. But, uh, I guess, like, things to look out for with it. I mean, other than having two left feet, that's really the main issue I had. I really can't name anything else. I, w I would recommend getting it, but I wouldn't recommend spending three hundred dollars for it. It is really not worth that kind of money. I, I, I would, I mean, if I had to really put a hard number on it, I would say this figure is worth maybe one seventy or one eighty. I don't see it worth any more than that. I mean, two hundred's all right. Two fifty and above is ridiculous. Do not spend that on this. Um, yeah, I mean, I really can't think of anything else to go for, go over with this. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would recommend getting it, but like I said, just don't get robbed over it. I'm a big fan of the movie, but I'm not that much of a fan. I, I, I settled for this because I didn't want to spend $700 on the Interbay version. So I hope this re review was helpful. I may do uh, the Kumik Matilda next week just for the hell of it because, I mean, like I said, you can't have Leon without Matilda. I know some people have custom versions of it, but the Kumik version is enough for me. So please like and subscribe, and I will be back with more reviews. Thanks.